Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to Bromley's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading and what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. It's really good to have you here. And if you are a returning subscriber, Soul Family, it's good to have you back. A little bit of Paolo Santo for you and for moi. Um, thank you for your likes. I do appreciate all of the, um, the comments that I get, the emails that I get. I know that my readings are open at the moment, so feel free, free to get in contact with me. Just make yourself familiar with all the prices and stuff. All of that information is down below. Um, I'm going to ring this bell quickly. This is just to cleanse the space around us. If you have any type of sound sensitivity, please turn down your listening device now, okay? Three, two, one. Okay. Let's see what wants to come out. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day, whether you're off from work, if you don't work, if you're at school, whatever that may be, as long as you are over 18. Let's see what wants to come out. What do we need to know, please? Make it first. Okay, let's go. Oh, hello, that jumped out. Runner, the runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy and listening to ego. But that one came up upside down. So this is somebody who may have had the tendency to run away from responsibilities or run away from um, accepting fault. But I'm not just getting that, this is to do with emotions. It's, yeah, because you've got self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship and love bombing. So you may have somebody who has narcissistic tendencies. I'm not going to call them a narcissist because I'm not a therapist. I cannot diagnose anyone. Please know that if anything comes up in this, in my reading um, within the areas of law, finance, mental health or physical health, and it really resonates with your story and what you're going through, please ensure that you reach out to someone who is qualified before taking advice from me. But as with that being said, it seems that you have someone here that is trying to change their ways. Being narcissistic or having traits that are not of narcissism, um, it comes from, and I can only say from my understanding and my experience of having family members who have had traits of narcissism, is that it comes from wounds. It comes from wounding. It comes from trauma. Um, my understanding of MPD, I, again, I'm not a therapist, is when a child is given all of the material things, pushed push to the front like my daughter my son look at them look at what they've achieved you have to achieve this but then giving them absolutely no emotional support whatsoever um so they grow up feeling empty or that they have to have certain things in a certain way um please correct me if i am wrong because i am ever the student um i'm getting that whoever this person is is not running from something now what are they not running from oh i heard they're not running from you really can I get one more card? Just clarity on the last two cards. Thank you. Girl talk is upside down. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. So this is in reverse. So this is somebody who may have isolated themselves or isolated you. Now, the, I actually only just noticed this, that the, the actual image of this girl, like on the phone, I've never looked at it properly. And the phone, there's a little speech bubble saying hello. And on her top, it says yes. This being in reverse, I don't know if this person, um, I heard they're reliving past memories. Reliving past memories, they may be isolating themselves right now, or if they try to isolate you, this is now happening to them. And I don't mean that in a negative way, it's just swings and roundabouts, right? They haven't moved on from something, they are not happily single, they are not living in the moment, and they're not having fun. I suppose it's that, um, you know when you decide... I'm going to try and heal from something and it doesn't matter if you haven't been taking accountability or maybe it was just too painful to look at when you stop and go actually I'm going to look at this I'm going to try it sometimes gets worse before it gets better and the only way that I can explain that is that I, I've been to therapy you know um, and I'm open about that I've been to therapy more than once um, when you first start digging into things that you've been hiding from or you didn't know was hiding within you it's almost like you go backwards before you go forwards for me personally and this seems to be happening to this person any more from here one more okay one more please soulmates is upside down so you have um this so this isn't a soul connection or a partnership an agreement or soul contract this may have been somebody who wished it was or maybe this person is realising their play, their part to play in some sort of relationship that, that went wrong. I really don't like it when it's, it's uneven like this. Can I not take two more out? Okay, I've been told yes. One sec. The runner, the runner in reverse. Clarity on the runner in reverse, please. 
the butterfly relationship relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child and growth so this person may be going to therapy or maybe considering this or at least talking to someone that is like a non-biased third party about certain things that before they would have hid or ran from or not taken accountability for now tell me about girl talk in reverse please now please know that if i do use uh, pronouns i'm just picking up on energies we hold both um, divine masculine and divine feminine energy and the reason I'm tapping my shoulders is because your divine masculine is right-sided it is to do with um, action movement protection providing armoring um, physicality and then you and logic and then you have on your left side your divine feminine which is to do with um, abundance growth your intuition um, your sacral chakra all to do with creativity and so on and so forth right um, so if I pick up on those, it's up to you whether or not you assign a gender. You don't have to. But if you wish to, only do so that fits. Clarity, please. Girl talk. Clarity. Clarity on girl talk, please. Oh, oh, okay. There's a lot to say here. Karmic relationship came out. I think this person is realising. Um, but they, or maybe they, they, they are learning or they need to understand that a karmic relationship is not, it's not bad it's per se. To be, because at some point we were in a karmic relationship. At some point we were the karmics. It doesn't mean that you're going out robbing banks or that you're, you know, punting babies across a river or anything. But it does mean that when you're in a relationship with somebody um, and it's not working or they are mirroring and aggravating certain wounds within you, it's because you were in that relationship with that person. Whether that is a romantic relationship or whether that is a family member or a friendship, you were meeting that person on that path where you were in that time in your life because you were both supposed to experience something from each other. Sometimes we don't realise that and it gets bad. Now, we've got here Love Call. Quite a few came out for this girl talker, right? You've got Love Call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So, okay, this is a love call. So... Again, I haven't got romantic love just yet because the thing is, if you're not speaking to certain family members, if you've cut off certain friends because of behaviour or because of um, an unwillingness to change or a fear to change or because of narcissistic traits, it could have been one of these people, right? You have karmic relationship with fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. I do feel like this person... Um, sits on like the two of pentacles balanced between should i call this person and get in contact with this person or should i just let them go and there seems to be a big balance because i don't know if at some point you were the person that helped them to kind of navigate their thoughts and ground them in some way and they don't have that grounding presence in their life anymore or maybe they haven't had it for a while now you've also got dates coming out meeting someone new dating getting back out there plan and set a date um so for those of you who were in a relationship with this person i don't know if this person would ask whenever there was issues within that relationship if there wasn't any if they weren't gaslighting it could have been them going well are you dating someone else do you want to date someone else right and that's what i mean by running from the issue rather than just going why do you feel the way that you feel how can we work this out together because the ego is a wild thing right and we no one likes being rejected no one likes being told you effed up or you you made me feel this way and as much as i'm responsible for my feelings you know i had this reaction because of a wound that you have a wound blah 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 no one wants to hear that especially when you're still um developing the way that you regulate your emotions because i don't know if this is a teenage love if this is last year's love um whatever that may be this person didn't want to take that accountability and i feel like they feel like they want to talk to you um about it and it's given me that song i'm going under and i feel i can't remember the song now it's by um somebody to heal somebody to hold na, 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 and now the day bleeds into nightfall and you're not here to help me through it all i let my guard down and you pull the rug i was kind of getting used to having someone 
you love something like that. That song, and I know I, I butchered it and I, I apologise. There's a part in it where um, he says, I, I would, t I've got no one to turn to. I usually turn to you when I have problems. If I could, in other words, he wants to talk to this to this person again, and that's what I'm getting here. That this person is starting to navigate. I feel like there's an unraveling of some something here, an unraveling. I don't feel like this person is a narcissist, as in they have narcissistic personality disorder. Again, I cannot diagnose that, but I do feel like this person uses their narcissist, narcissistic traits as um, an armor of some sort, a way to keep themselves safe because they're fragile inside and you you grounded them in some way and this karmic relationship they did not learn what they had to while they were in the relationship i feel like it was once they were out and not straight away either this is like delayed this is like having a delayed reaction to medication or something or delayed reaction to a certain food intolerance and it's not until a couple of weeks later or whatever that you start feeling unwell this person is doing the same thing and you've got ascending here Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So this person may, I feel the reason why so many cards came out just for one, for clarification of one card, is because there's so much going on in this person's head that they're now having a different perspective, perspective on, that they're looking at differently. When you were telling them certain things and they weren't listening or they were re they're realizing the narcissistic traits that they have. They may not be using that word or that label, but they're realizing that they were being self-absorbed in some way. That the relationship was one-sided because I don't know if you were the one that was propping them up. I don't know if you were kind of, um, they'd say, I need your help and you'd come and help them. There was no ifs or buts, but if you were like, I need help, they do it begrudgingly or you had to really push to get them to do so. This meeting someone new, I don't know, this person may be worried that you are meeting someone new or that was always like their, it's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you have someone who's like, you're going to leave me for someone else. You're going to leave me for someone else. Whenever there's an argument, I know you're going to leave me for someone else. Not only is that a way to kind of protect themselves from taking any accountability for their actions within whatever's happening or to themselves or how they're feeling, but it's also a way of keeping, it is a way of keeping themselves safe. And this person seems to be, have done this in the relationship. And if they didn't say that to you, that's what they were thinking. It's almost like putting yourself down and saying, I'm not worthy. You're out of my league. What are you doing in the relationship then? It's, it's doomed to fail from the start if you aren't seeing your own self-worth. The other person should not be your counsellor or um, whatever that may be. Now... This person, I don't know if they want to call. They definitely do. There's so many things they want to say. If you know what song I was butchering, please, can you put it in the comment section down below? And I will edit the, um, or edit down below and put it in there. I'm so sorry for, for doing that, for butchering. I love that song, but I don't know it all. This person sees how well you're doing. I think they see how well you're doing, or they assume that you're doing really well, and that, um, you're moving on in some way. Now the day beats into my fall And I'm not here to get me through it all And you've got twin flames in reverse. So this person may have been... Um, I don't feel like they're a lower level soulmate. I feel like this person was just a person because not everyone that we are in a relationship with is a soulmate. Not every single relationship we have is a twin flame. And not all of us have twin flames. Not all of us believe in that. I think that this person was just on your path and you were on theirs to teach each other. And this person has learnt the lesson later in life. Um, because it says here for twin flames, you know, if this was upright, you would be complementing each other. There would be duality, union, there would be balance. There'd be a yin to a yang and there'd be zen. There'd be... There'd be equilibrium and i don't know if there was um especially with it being in reverse and they're realizing this they actually are um this relationship evolving to the next phase i i don't feel like this is a relationship them going i want this relationship to evolve maybe they do but this is more a relationship evolving for themselves now there's a reason why you know the spirit spirit has decided that we need to see this okay this one 
or this one, which one? One, two, or three? One, okay. Right, why are you showing this to us? Why have we been shown this? Why have we been shown this? I heard, get, get me out. Get me out. Get me out of what? Because I just keep having it going around in my mind that you are the one that they turn to for advice. You're the one that helps them out of sticky situations. You're the one that puts up with their crap. You're the one that loves them unconditionally or did. And like, yeah, you've got overwhelming energy here because you have the death card underneath as well, nine of cups in reverse. They're fully aware that they will never... This is the real cliched um, energy of knowing that you don't know what you have until it's gone. And I know it's very cliched, it's very cheesy, but this person did not realise what they had until you were gone. And this eight of cups of the death, and that permanently, there is no way back. There is no way back. There is no flipping way back. Now, why have we been shown this? Why do we need to see this, clarity? Lewis Capaldi, there we go, came to, it came to me. The star, Princess of Cups has come out as well. I don't know if someone here has pub publicly said, I don't want any of my exes back. I don't want any old energy back. I don't want that friend that I had from 20 years ago that only used me for, you know, somewhere to sleep on the weekends when they went partying or whatever it was. I don't want them back. I don't want you in my life. Do not bother. So this person is in some way has heard this. I don't know if you said this on social media. Um, I don't know if you text that to this person. But they're fully aware. They don't have you as a lifeline anymore. They don't have you as a lifeline because the Princess of Cups in reverse. This is rejecting whatever little cup of love they may have. Any offer that they may come forward with. And the star is, yes, it's about beauty. But it's about acknowledgement online or being seen online. Um, or something going viral so they're fully aware that you are not interested and this has really upset them or overwhelmed them um knight of pentacles is in reverse maybe they don't have anything to offer or they feel like they don't have anything to offer and this realization also this healing the inner child and growth um relationship evolving to the next level the, to the next um phase this is something that they have to do themselves they can't run from this and if they don't it will destroy them the knight of swords has come out and you also have the king of pentacles so this person may be needing legal aid they may need financial aid of some sort i don't know if you were like the main provider in a relationship here someone here was a main provider um they may have taken this financial whatever as being they took it for granted big time they may have had an expectation that you were just going to give them money and there's no thanks or anything. It was like, where's the money? Why haven't you given this to me already? This is giving me, um, this definitely is like a past relationship that was very codependent with a, um, a chaser and a runner. Take it as it resonates, whether you are the runner or you are the chaser. But here with the Knight of Swords to um, the, King of, the, the King of Pentacles in reverse. This is, um, the, Knight of Pent the Knight of Swords for me, excuse me, is the reason that I still feel like it is a... Um, a legal card because i know that we're, when you usually see the king of swords it's about legality the knight of swords to me has always been either someone rushing into the fray to either argue or to do you know what that's just giving me another message now that this person was fully aware now that you aren't there to fill their pockets or fill their belly with food or put you know shirt on their back or whatever that may be they are now realizing how good they had it and how quickly they were able to disregard you or disregard your needs because i don't know if you cared for this person in a specific way um like I, there's something about being really um aware of their emotional needs or really aware excuse me of their mental health needs and this may be something they never gave to you in return because the knight of swords is someone who rushes into the fray They've got their sword ready. This is like Archangel Michael. Come we go. We're going to protect. We're going to slash down the foe. I'll do it for you. King, you know, King of Pentacles in reverse. This is either not being kicked out of a job 
a, a business failing. So if they lost their job or their business became bankrupt, this is like rushing into the frame and being like, I'll help you out, it's fine. Well, until you get yourself back onto your, your feet, I've got you. And then realising, well, they don't have that anymore. They don't have anyone to turn around and go, can I have like, give me $50 or give me $100 or I need to pay my rent. You pay that for me and I'll, you know, blah, blah, blah. This person is having to talk to some sort of legal aid because it also, this card also um, represents like lawyers or legal aid in that way. So this person is having to then go and speak to legal aid. I feel like if you needed, if you needed financial help in the past, they didn't go with you. They made you do everything by yourself. They made you do everything by the by yourself. This is like um, this person is just sitting there. I don't know if this person is. They're sitting in a room. I'm seeing someone in a room. There's a window, obviously, there's a window, but it's, it's like the room's really dark and the only light coming in is this window. And I can't tell if there's like curtains pulled to the side. I don't know if this person is in like rehab or in um, a mental health institute or they're in, I don't feel like they're in prison. I feel like there's somewhere to get better. There's somewhere to get better, which is why like they're isolated and they can't speak to anyone. But at the same time, they wish that they could speak to you because they're having a powerful energy shift. Look. So you have someone in the past, you have someone from your past that either they've been forced into this situation. It's almost like when somebody has a mental, a mental health breakdown and they are either causing harm to themselves or harm to people around them and because they are not completely copus mentos you know they may be sent to a mental health institute for a certain amount of time just to check you know to keep give them support this may have happened to this person they may have gone willingly but i feel like they this may have happened to this person because it says healing from heartache is upside down this person may be fighting their healing why are we being shown this for what reason are we being shown this the natural world needs you and i heard it's not your fault i don't know if like growing up you just felt everybody else's feels sounds like someone here is a very strong um, empath and it's like wanting to heal other people because you can feel how much pain they're in but the age-old saying of you can take a horse to water but you can't make the horse drink you can't force the water down the, you know the horse's throat the same here you can care so much for someone else to the point that boundaries are blurred and it goes from being, I'm going to support you to codependency, where you are the over motherer or over fatherer or just over nurturer. And this person then becomes, they use weapon incompetence for every part of their life. And that's where this narcissistic kind of traits were being built. This person is having time to, to look at themselves. And I feel like this reading is just, it's almost giving you that pat on your back that this hadn't this this wasn't to do with you you aren't at fault here you aren't at fault in any way shape or form because look take care of yourself is in reverse there is no way that you would have been able to take care of yourself as well as somebody else who is pushing against their own tide because it's giving me the energy of like someone having a mental health issue and again not a therapist but ignoring it but by ignoring this mental health issue, if you're in a relationship with somebody who denies the fact that they have depression or denies the fact that, you know, they have bipolar or whatever it is that they may have. And I don't know. That is going to bleed into the relationship big time, because when one person isn't looking after themselves and the other, all the other one wants to do is heal that person, it becomes toxic. It becomes dysfunctional and the person who is nurturing then loses their identity in helping the other person because there's no boundaries there, right? I think this person's realising, they're realising um, what an angel you were to them. Maybe they've never had kindness like that before, but you're being told it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Take care of yourself is upside down and then it's time to become a great leader. You're being told also that if you had stayed in a relationship like this, you would never have come to stand in your own sovereign light. You wouldn't have been able to. Like, for example, I didn't realise that I had flipping ADHD. I'm 40 years old. I didn't realise that I had ADHD up until about 
eight months ago and I have been single um, over a year now, over a year. And it was in that one year where I had time to myself, where I got to pour into myself because I was a carer before that. But I actually went, whoa, what's going on here? What's going on with all these this neuro spicy quirky things? And then I got myself diagnosed. I wouldn't have known that if I was still caring for somebody else um, in a dysfunctional relationship. So this take care of yourself in reverse and it's time to become a great leader. Everything that happened was meant to happen in the way that it did. And I know that people have has like resentment towards sometimes hearing that they are not that you're not the victim. You are not a victim. None of us are. Are we co-create our own human experience? And I mean, there was a comment I think yesterday on one of my videos about like essay. And you're right. The only thing that I will say that I will um, redact is when it comes to children. Children can't co-create that. But everything else, and I digress there. This relationship was supposed to go down the way that it did. And I know that sounds crappy. Um, my re last relationship was flipping awful. Um, but I've learned a lot from it and I have grown from it. And your guides are letting you know that if you had stayed and tried to nurture and try to just carry the entire world on your back while this person sat on the throne on top of it, just eating grapes, that you would have just stayed there. You would have missed out on the blessings that are for you. Not because they would have, you know, the window of opportunity is gone. It's just because you wouldn't have seen that window of opportunity. You wouldn't have been able to see who you were because you have here magical space clearing time, that needed to be cleansed. You needed to walk away from that so that a new world could be born. And I, I feel like this person will come to understand this also. Um, I don't, yeah, look, you are, you are, you see clearly clairvoyance. This person may be coming to see this as well. They're talking to someone about this though. They're definitely, they are talking to a third party about this. I don't feel like it is, um, ow. I don't feel like it's the person, there's someone that was influenced them, influencing them before. This is, they're talking to like a therapist or a nurse or someone they don't know, but in a professional stance, in a professional, professional like setting that's helping them to seek more clearly, to see um, not only their behaviour, but people that they've been hanging around with because that first you know the first three cards that came out the last one was girl talk in reverse this isn't just about not being able to express yourself this is not talking to specific people this is not talking to specific friends because i think that the circle of friends that they were kind of hanging around with the people that were kind of influencing them were really not good for them or their mental health ghost people yeah ghost people they've ghosted these people they're not talking to these people or they're not able to and i I honestly feel like the choice might have been taken away from them in that they they may have always wanted to go to therapy or they may have always wanted to have someone that they could talk to but then there's the ego and then there's addictions if that that you know if that's relevant there's all of these things that they've allowed their power to be taken away from because it's that came up didn't it before past the past returns for a time yeah I just keep hearing none of this is your fault none of this is your fault where would you like me to go there interesting I heard closure is needed closure is got so this is like closure for someone here or this is an encouragement for closure on something that maybe with a past relationship was held hanging in some way we've got fear coming out here so what's this fear about? What is this person fearing? I just heard that you would leave them. It's like, this is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Hope is upside down. Security um, is upright. And spark is upside down. You were security to them. But I'm getting like physical security. I don't know if like you owned the home and they moved in with you. Or if you owned a business and maybe they worked on that business, uh, there's something here where you were all the you were the finance, you were the prosperity, you were the 
kind of four of swords, four of wands, excuse me, the four of wands, even the four of swords, you gave them respite. They were able just to relax. I had neuroplasticity. I don't know if they had issues with neuroplasticity, but they couldn't learn new things. This person could have slight brain damage. That's only for some people. Maybe you cared for them because they had brain damage in some way. Um, but it went from you just caring to them to becoming their servant. Securities here with four and one. That's, you know, connect, connecting that down to a five, that's about change. This person having to learn how to change their view of security. Spark and hype are both upside down. They know they're not going to be able to get you back. They know they're not going to be able to get you back. I don't even think that, I think they know that they won't even be able to be friends with you anymore. Or that you don't want that. Daydream, they daydream of it though. This is blank and godded. Now I've got the song Blank Space by Taylor Swift in my head. Daydream and guarded. They dream. They may be daydreaming of um, the times when you knew each other, where you did trust each other, where your guard was down. And that may have been when you first started dating each other. When we all wear that mask that where we're putting our first, you know, our best foot forward where we don't show our quirks, where we don't show our thoughts or insecurities, where we play pretend, because we do, the first couple of months of dating someone, you are play pretending with them and so are they with you, in that it's not so much that you're lying, it's that you're just pushing forward the things that um, are socially accepted, like I love hiking or I love drawing or going to the movies and doing things like that, where you're just get, getting some social connection but you're not actually opening up, you know, any of your shadow whatsoever. And this person has been daydreaming about this or daydreaming about <clears throat> the times when things were gentle, I heard. Yeah, daydream's coming out again. Okay. Oh, that just made a really gross sound. And it's loads and loads and loads of candle wax on the table. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sudden wealth and marriage. This person thought that you were good. Oh. So this person thought that getting married to you would give them that security, would give them actual security. They thought that you were the, the kind of like their doorway to having a life where they didn't have to stress about money. Whatever you do for a job or whatever you did for a job, got Archangel Michael on our way. They they had talked to someone here about marriage. I don't know if you were engaged to this person or they were going to ask you to marry them, but you got sudden wealth and marriage. I'm not saying that this person did this just for money. I don't think they did, but I do think they were aware that because you got look, um unexpected income in, in reverse. They were fully aware that being married to you or having children with you or just being in a very tight connected like legal union of some sort would set them up for life and they were looking at it wrong back then because if they had been looking at it through love and respect look privileged lady they would have realized because they see you as a privileged lady or man or he she they and they're fully aware that there's a community around you that sees the same thing and that's why they were like cha-ching this person's going to be making loads of money and if they had just seen it the other way and actually treated you with respect they would have been privy to that but child come out and cough in yeah you guys didn't have a child or you may have um you know trigger warning had a pregnancy but it didn't come to term with this person mature man is coming out and message yeah this is upside down this person isn't going to speak to you or they're not allowed to or they've had their phone taken away or i heard for their own safety they've had their phone taken away um this is this reading's pretty heavy isn't it let me see what's going on in here. Yeah, look, wedding in reverse came straight out. So it's ripped on the side, it got wet. This situation does not, um, it does not involve marriage. Getting to know each other and then the wedding in reverse. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this person may feel like if they were allowed to, 
then they would want to contact you. They would want to open up about things that maybe they hid from you the first time round. You could have been married and had a divorce as well if this is upside down. This is someone who's realising that where they kept putting up such, um, I was going to say unusual boundaries, but they were putting up such boundaries, but then wanting you close at the same time, that this is what ultimately pushed you away. And they keep thinking in their head that, that they pushed you away into another person's arms. Clarity, please. Clarity. You deserve love and very soon. So clearly decide what you want so that it will, so it comes to you now. This person realised that their indecision actually blocked them not only from finances, wealth, love, respect, security, everything that they, they felt that they didn't deserve. And it says you deserve love, you are lovable. So this person's still in love with you. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Unrequited love. They, I don't know if this person... Um, they seem to have it in their head that there could have been a chance at some point, but that unrequited love upside down isn't really giving me them. It's more giving me, because it's right next to community. I feel like they're fully aware that either you have a community around you that loves you, or that you have a lot of options or suitors that are coming in, or they assume that you have a lot of suitors, you know, and people wanting to come in and date you because you're flipping gorgeous, right? Release your ex. Come now. I knew that would come out. I actually knew that would come out. And it says, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. You need to re relief, release your ex for this to come in. The time has come for you to clear your energy and it's upside down. So you already have done this. And this is why you have some, you actually have some sort of opportunity coming in. And they feel like they've missed out. They feel like they missed out. This person wasn't your soulmate. You had twin flame come out in reverse as well. Like I said that, yes, this is your soulmate in reverse. Okay. Let me have a look at this one. Business partner. So this person wanted to come in as a business partner. And then you have um, 10th house, career and fame. Status driven, obsessed with public recognition. Make me a star at all costs. Flits from goal to goal without completion. Bain to the point of fancying themselves. Um, father issues, feel superior in intellect and in knowledge. Patronising, wants to take without giving at all. Strong dislike of men, toxic masculinity. And the thing is, straight underneath there, so this is all about business and work. You've got a new business idea. And then you have got business partner here. Then you've got tax refund. Increase in clients to your business. You have medical here as well and then you have family blocked sacral chakra discord in the family depression and we were talking about that not bathing regularly dislike of women mother issues homelessness ungrounded um, moving frequently numb to emotions of self and others erratic emotional outbursts lacking empathy cold and calculating and you have tarot reader i don't know if they watch tarot um they could be a tarot reader themselves um you could be a tarot reader um there's something here with both the 10th and the 4th house coming out. So they have issues with both their mother and their father. They may be homeless at the moment. But there's change in job field and industry and catering. They could have been in catering. They could have thought that being by your side, they were looking at this from a real like distorted um, root chakra wise. They were looking at this from a material way of... If I'm with this person, look how kind they're being to me. Look how nice they are. They put up with my crap. And I don't mean that in that. <laughs> they put up with my crap. Just they put up with my crap. Um, and I can say, give me money. And they give it to me. They were very much like the, the perfect princess, irrespective of gender. Um, they may have felt like you could have funded some sort of business that they wanted to do. And that's why they wanted to get married. I don't feel like that was a specific reason. There were many reasons, but this person was looking at it all wrong. And they may be learning this now. They may be understanding that you not being there, you weren't just a bank account. You weren't just a nurse or a, or a therapist or whatever. You were a whole fully formed human being, a spiritual being having a human experience. And they took complete um, advantage of you and took you for granted. But now that's not your problem, is it? 
catering. And it says, don't worry, your ancestors are protecting you. This person isn't protected. And I don't feel like um, anything nasty is happening to them, as in, like, you know, your ancestors are going after them and being like, Mah. you know, you're going to have bad karma, bad karma, because I feel like their karma is actually waking up to what it is that they missed because of how selfish they were. And um, it's, I put a meme up a while ago and it said, no, I didn't hex you that protection that you had when we were together i have removed it and that's all you're feeling that's the energy that's what's coming through this don't worry your ancestors are protecting you it could have been that when you were with this person your ancestors were protecting them too so they were luckier they could have won more money if they went out gambling or you know they would have got that job promotion and it's not saying that you're a lucky charm but it's your vibration your vibration was so much higher than theirs and that may have been a wound that you needed to heal by going through that relationship with them um but now your ancestors aren't they aren't protecting them they're not but why would they and it's not enough and again not even in the nasty way of yeah you know felicia by just we're no longer together so their their ancestors went their way and your ancestors went your way and in doing so that extra protection has been removed and this person went back to having ill luck or i don't know something like Almost like everything that could go wrong then went wrong. Because while they were with you, rather than learning what it was within their own ancestral karma that made things go wrong for them, they were just pointing it at you. There's something here about having arguments and making it out like it was your fault. Expect delays coming out. And they've got expect delays, exactly. Anything else you need to know? Stability from growth. Stability comes from growth and it's upside down. We were talking about the root chakra. Upsur upsurge in products sold. So this things went to absolute shite for this person when you guys left when you left them. You've got conflict here, two of cups, ten of wands, five of swords, five of wands, but I saw the two of cups the most. I don't get that this person was cheating. I do get that this person was listening to other people very much so and they were listening but the thing is as well is that if you are not giving the entire story of what is happening because there is there is the truth you know there is your truth their truth and the actual truth and it seems like whoever this person is they were only giving their side of the story so it could have they wouldn't be telling you know their friend oh by the way this person is the provider they're bringing in all this money and they're sharing it with me. They're also, you know, doing this, this and this and taking care of me. Um, they're taking care of this and that and the house and the children and whatever. Because I don't know, maybe you have kids together. They're not telling them that. They're telling them they're only painting the picture of the things that you weren't doing that they didn't, the things that you weren't doing for them. So whoever it is that's listening is of, of course going to give the advice of, well, you should be doing this, this and this. And I feel like there was one particular person in this group that knew more, but wasn't telling, they were privy to more information, but they weren't telling the rest. They were allowing everyone else to think that you had done something or that you were, you were, I don't know, they were trying to like minimize the impact, the, the positive impact you had on this person's life or what you were doing for them. Because you've got Groundhog Day coming out in reverse. All right. This is, the, this is about learning a lesson that you'd already learned something. I had giving beyond measure. This one person, I feel like wherever this, wherever your ex is now, whether that is in rehab or in, you know, in a mental health in institution and they may be going through therapy, they're now being more open about you know, whoever this person is and how this person may have coaxed them into, you know, just this person seems to be very easily guided by others. And that's not an excuse at all, because you still have to have that moral backbone of being able to not um, crumble to peer pressure. But I don't know if they're talking about this in therapy or if they're realizing how manipulated they were. I heard for Pete's sake, it was jealousy. For Pete's sake, it was jealousy. Look, yeah, blocked blocked and then it says here sixth house sixth house health and fitness disorganization overthinking addictions overeating alcohol 
substances, rigid thinking, illness, lack of focus and purpose, scammers, what can I take from you and how much, unemployment, dislike of animals and animal abuse. I feel like this is the person that they were speaking to. This is why they've been told to cut off like these people, cut off people that aren't for their highest and greatest good. Yeah, they blocked them. They completely blocked them. They blocked them from tech. They, I, I feel like you may have blocked them. I don't know if you knew this person. I feel like you knew this person as well. How? And it says, listen to your gut, truth, positive connection, speaking your truth and social media. So something going on with social media. You may have been um, friends with them on social media, whether that's Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Um, I don't think you can be friends on YouTube, can you? No. Facebook, maybe? I don't know. Let's see what else wants to come out. Devil in reverse. So this is the 10th house. 10th house is coming out again. And it says, binded, soulless, addictions, habits, toxicity, um, or toxic behaviour, and stagnant energy, and it's upside down. This is removing someone. Oh, they didn't like that you blocked them, or that you intuitively knew. They were unex they, they, did, they saw this as unexpected. They didn't think that you'd be able to see this. What's going on with this one friend? Why is it being pulled over there? Focus on that goal and couple. Interesting. This could be their ex, you know. This is like one of their exes or somebody that they've been intimate with at some point. Focus on that goal and couple. And bro, sis, he, she, they. Then we have the first house coming out, which says smear campaign, I want to be you, karmic cycle, stuck in a loop, self-harm, pessimistic, call self a realist, mask on, hungry for validation from others, insecure, copies others, social anxiety, jealous, self-loathing self and thoughts of unaliving. So this, you have someone here that has been manipulating your ex world, but where, while you were together, and this may have been their ex. This is crazy. Forged documents, bribery, secrets, lies and jail time. So I don't know what they were doing there. Seems to be um, some very, very dodgy stuff. I want to get out another deck. But yeah, I'm going to get out the red one. What were they doing? What was this? What's this forged documents about? Three of Wands to the Queen of Pentacles. This is money. This is money. They were doing something here with money. I don't know if the money that you were giving to this person was then being given to their ex or being given to their friend. Whoever this person is that they've... I'm only saying ex because they've shared some sort of intimate relations. It could have been a situationship, friends with benefits, um, a yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't know. Three of Wands is about expansion. So tell me more about this money. Oh seven of wands okay so whoever it was that they were talking to was very very jealous of the amount of money that you were making or some sort of creative project that was taking off or that people were watching you watching you i don't know if you are an influencer i heard you were building it back then you may have been building it back then yeah we were fortune you were building up some sort of fortune or in the eyes of this person you were what else do I need to know about this person? Pardon me, Seven of Pentacles to the Ten of Swords. Okay, so now this, whoever your ex is, and whatever they are, where they're having this gentle but forced um, isolation from the outside world, they've been given time to really think about past interactions and where they may have been siding with either this ex or the person that they had intimate relations with, blah, 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 blah. They're now realising that this person did not have their best heart, their best intentions at mind, in mind whatsoever. Because you have the Seven of Pentacles, which is about rest, taking rest, taking a moment to recuperate, but also taking time to go within and to reflect. And then you have the Ten of Swords and seeing betrayal, seeing betrayal. I don't know if this person was kind of like, they were with this person, but they weren't 
with with this person if that makes sense i don't think they were sleeping with them but i feel like cheating can also be emotional right some people don't see it as being um cheating i personally do if you are you know having some sort of like emotional depth with another person that becomes romantic than it is and i feel like there was something there because you have the three of pentacles they were working together to trap to do something when it came to money they got entangled in each other when it came to like mentally and look there's the codependency coming out again so someone's ex here is now realizing that how very destructive codependency can be that's why we started off with the runner card in reverse like no more running i can't run anymore this is going to destroy me if every relationship i have is me running away from every responsibility that i have yeah i'm exhausted i'm exhausted i need to stop i need to take a reality check because the seven of cups in reverse this is opening your eyes to reality so tell me about this this forged documents let me do that again Forged documents. Tell me about them, please. Forged documents. What forged documents? Ten of Cups. Ace of Cups. Clarity on those two, please. Emperor. And King of Pentacles. This is some sort of business because we have the Queen of Pentacles coming out. And now we've got the King of Pentacles. So we know that the Queen of Pentacles is whoever this person is um, from your ex's past. Or one of their friends that they, they've been intimate with. You then have the king of pentacles which is obviously going to be the ex then you have the emperor in reverse yeah but if they had some sort of business on the side because the king and queen of pentacles is about business acumen it's about making things grow financially the emperor in reverse they didn't know what they were doing or someone here was greedy or hot-headed or i don't know the emperor is usually someone who's like a ceo he's got his stuff together he's got his ish together okay he can lead the masses but in reverse, this is somebody who's almost like um, a sofa parent. And I've seen them on like Super Nanny. And there'll be someone just shouting at their kid who's two floors up. Brandon, come down. It's like, go up, get off your ass and go upstairs. That's the energy it's giving me. Wanting the money, but not wanting to do the work in what? Ace of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Family. What was this business to do with a family? I heard faking a family. And they enjoyed doing this. They enjoyed doing this. Why did they enjoy doing this? Why? The moon to the five of wands. I feel like this per I feel like this this friend or ex or whoever, I, I don't mean your ex, I mean the friends with benefits, the person they've been intimate with, they had a hold over them in some way. They had a hold over them in some way. The five of wands in reverse, they enjoyed doing this because it took away some sort of um, conflict, some sort of confrontation, some sort of stress, either from their family or it was to do with their own ego of, I can't be the one that's not the breadwinner. I can't be the one that's not bringing in money. I can't be the one without money in my pocket where I just have to ask my partner for money like I'm a 50s housewife, okay? There's some truth in there. There's some absolute truth in this. So this was all ego. That's flipping wild. King of Wands is coming out to the King of Cups. Two of Swords. Okay, so this person, um, I don't know if this person was playing out their father wounds. Because it did say in one of these cards that they had um, some sort of issues or wounds when it came to their father. And there seems to be something going on here with wanting to be a good father or be a good mother or be a good parent in some way with the king of wands here. Actionable. I want to take action and say that I can do these things. So they may have been stealing your money or they were they were signing something or forging something to have money to either give to their child or children. How's that working out then? That's awful. What betrayal? What absolute betrayal? But they're sitting and having to think about this, you know. Let me take you. Queen of Pentacles and Judgment. Money is owed. They may need to give this money back, you know. The chariot's coming out as well. So there is definitely some sort of... Um, 
I heard lawsuit. Something's going to happen. This person may get sued. Because if they give all this information out, if they're talking to a therapist about this, or they're talking to someone who is um, like a qualified, I don't know, third party, just someone who is non-biased, this information may be given to the police. This information is most probably will be given to the police because I know from, you know, working with children, at least certain things um, that a child tells you, you have to tell them that you, ha you can't keep that confidential, especially if it's to do with the harm of the child um, or the harm of another person who works there. Um, it has to be investigated. This seems to be the same. I feel like they're going to investigate this. They're going to investigate this. I don't know if this person is having a nervous breakdown at the moment. Um, trigger warning there as well. I heard it was their idea, as in not their idea. It's whoever their ex is or whoever this friends with benefits is. Six of swords. Six of swords to the two of swords. Two of swords is about indecision, right? They literally just went along with it. Six of Swords is about coming away from stressors. This person doesn't like confrontation. I feel like the person who is the runner, they run because they don't like confrontation. I heard they don't like loud noises or they don't like the loud noise that comes out of people's mouths when they're arguing. Yeah, look, you've got the Ten of Cups in reverse. They may have grown up in a very loud household. Eight of Swords has come out twice now. Okay, so this person feels trapped. I had a duty of care, a duty of care, a duty of care to who? A duty of care to who? Page of Swords, a child. I'm telling you, it's a child. Page of Swords. This could be um, their child, it could be an air sign. Um, Gemini, Gemini, Libra, or is it Aquarius? I'm not sure, you tell me. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands to the what? Six of Wands in reverse. This is, yeah, they've made some sort of promise to their kid that they will always be there or they will always be able to be like the knight in shining armour. But they've, if they've stolen money or done something fraudulently in your name, along with whoever this, this person is, they may go to prison for a very long time. And they have to pay back this money. How would they pay back the money if they don't have it in the first place? Yeah, that's having to let go of control of something here. Their, their child? Children? How many children? One, two, three, four. They may have four children. They may, I, they may have children with different people. So they could be the father to, to different and have baby mamas. Or they could be the mother with lots of baby fathers. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about this other person. Tell me more about this person that's been blocked or they're not they're not speaking to at the moment. Strength is about children again. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. And the Three of Coins. So the Strength card again is about internal strength. But it always gives me the Fifth House, which is about children. So it's definitely about their kids. You then have um, the Knight of Pentacles. They're no longer so this person they held on to something here i feel like whatever they've been doing together if this if your ex wanted to get out of it they wouldn't have been able to because they have a cult they have somebody with them that can point to them and be like they're the culprit they're the one that did this because they're the one that was dating you or going out with you or whatever married to you i don't know and they were taking money even though you were handing them money it wasn't enough they wanted it for themselves. There was jealousy coming from this ex as well. But the Knight of Pentacles being in reverse, this person hasn't got any money now. They pushed it too far, I heard, or they did something that was dumb. It was all dumb. It was all very, very, very silly. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse is not learning something or not being skilled in something. And pe the thing is, people have found out about this or people are about to find out about this because you have the Seven of Swords in reverse, which is Deceit in reverse, which is... People finding out about this, but finding out about it in a really explosive way is what I'm hearing. A really explosive way. What's going to happen? 
Justice is going to happen. Justice is going to happen. Mm. And I heard that there's a poem and it says stop, stop all the clocks. It's, I can't remember. It's actually called Stop All The Clocks. And it's about someone who's, um, you know, the love of their life has passed on. And they just, they write this poem about, you know, on the day that this happens, I want you to stop time. Um, they are going to feel like time has stopped. Something's going to happen quick. Yeah, they're going to be stripped of everything. Rotted. You have here, Eight of Wands. Fast movement. It's like the rune ray through. I used to be calling it Rado. And you've got materialism upside down. This is having everything stripped from them. This is having everything stripped from them. I had Miranda Rights. The Empress having everything stripped from them. Bye, girl, bye. Seven of Wands. This is other people around them that are questioning where they're getting their money from. Questioning where they're getting their money from. And I mean, this person is still getting money... They were still getting money even after you weren't in a relationship with this person. I don't know what they were doing, how they were doing it. I'm not even going to go into that. But whatever it is that they've been doing to, to change documents or to change your name on something. Or I don't know. Or to open up a, an account. They're still taking money from it now. I don't know if they realised that the person that they were in, you know, in crime with... The person that they were working with is now in a mental health institution. It doesn't seem like a prison because the, the, the room that I saw, it has a big window. I know prisons have like a small window with bars and stuff like that. It had a really big window and like curtains and stuff. Three of spears here to the ten of spears. To the queen of cauldrons. So they are somewhere where... Um, they can talk about their burdens, somewhere that they can like speak more on their burdens because the three of wands is about expansion, right? It's expanding. And then you have the 10 of wands, which is about your burdens, the things that weigh you down. And then you have the queen of cauldrons with somebody who is listening to them, someone who may be quite kind, someone that may remind them of, I heard a kinder version of their own mother, a kinder version of their own mother. And all of that stuff has to be recorded. The world. And what else? The wheel and the world has come out twice now with the priestess. I feel like things are about to change very rapidly for you. Especially if this resonates. Because this information is about to be given to the police. Or it will be given to the police at some point, right? Um there's going to be this person will have to be arrested but i don't think that they are going to be taken just yet while they are going through if they're in a mental health um mental health institution for example or if they're in rehab but the other person definitely will definitely will i feel like i'm going to leave it here i hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity and what you already intuitively know if you are new to my channel and this resonated i would love you to hit on the like the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content and when i post and if you are yeah and if you are a returning subscriber sorry my brain went for a second um if you're a returning subscriber soul family hearts kisses i love you guys please do not be scammed by people in the comment section pretending to be me i will never reach out to you telling you to whatsapp me that is so weird if you see that in any way shape or form just block and report them please love you guys love 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 bye Boop.